This is Badresh Kumar Chitanbhai Patel, an Indian fugitive wanted for allegedly killing his wife, Pala Patel, at a Dunkin' Donuts store in Hanover, Maryland, in the United States on April 12, 2015. On April 18, 2017, he was added to the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list. Patel was one of the 514 fugitives to be placed on the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list. On April 12, 2015, Patel and his wife, Palak, were working the night shift at a Dunkin' Donuts in Hanover, Maryland, which was owned by a relative of the Patels. The couple was captured on surveillance video walking together in the kitchen at around 9.30 p.m. before they disappeared out of view behind some racks. Patel then reappeared alone after a few moments and fled the store. Later that night, Palak's body was discovered by a police officer who was informed by concerned customers that no employees had come to serve them. Palak had been brutally beaten to death and stabbed multiple times with a large kitchen knife. Investigators suspected that the couple had an argument, with Palak wanting to return to India and Patel wishing to stay in the US. Upon checking the surveillance footage, the police discovered that Patel was the perpetrator, but he had already vanished. Patel fled the Dunkin' Donuts store and walked back to his nearby apartment. He took some personal items and hailed a cab to an airport in Newark, New Jersey. According to the taxi driver, Patel was calm during the journey. He checked into a hotel in Newark and was captured on surveillance video paying in cash for a room. The following morning, he checked out and was last seen at a Newark Penn station around 10 a.m. after taking a hotel shuttle to the station. Patel had a visa to be in the U.S., but it had expired at the time of the murder, and there was no indication that he could legally leave the country. During an investigation with Pollock's family, it was revealed that the last conversation she had with them was about her desire to return to India, which Patel had overheard. Police believed that Patel killed his wife for this reason. Patel has connections in Canada, India, New Jersey, Kentucky, Georgia, and Illinois, and authorities believe that he could have fled the country or could be hiding with relatives. A reward of up to $100,000 is being offered for information that leads to his whereabouts. This is Ruja Plamenova in Natova, a Bulgarian-born German citizen, is a well-known fraudster and the founder of a fraudulent cryptocurrency scheme called OneCoin, which has been dubbed by the Times as one of the biggest scams in history. Her activities have landed her on the FBI's 10 Most Wanted list, and she has been charged with wire fraud, securities fraud, and money laundering by U.S. authorities. Ignatova has been on the run from international law enforcement agencies since 2017. Ignatova's involvement in fraudulent schemes date back to 2012, when she was convicted of fraud in Germany. She and her father, Plamen Ignatov, acquired a company that was later declared bankrupt in dubious circumstances. She was given a suspended sentence of 14 months imprisonment. In 2013, she was involved in a multi-level marketing scam called Bitcoin. In 2014, she founded OneCoin, which operated as a pyramid scheme. The FBI released an episode of its podcast and YouTube series, Inside the FBI, dedicated to Ignatova and OneCoin. Ignatova disappeared on the 25th of October 2017 after learning that police investigations into OneCoin were increasing. In 2019, her brother Konstantin Ignatov pleaded guilty to fraud and money laundering in connection with the scheme. Prosecutors in Darmstadt, Germany confirmed an investigation into possible money laundering by Ignatova in January 2022. The transfer of 7.69 million euros by Ignatova into one of her private accounts in 2016 was under scrutiny. The North Rhine-Westphalia Police and German Federal Criminal Police Office subsequently announced that Ignatova was sought for fraud charges, and the Federal Criminal Police Office offered a 5,000 euro reward for information leading to her arrest. In November 2018, a Bulgarian investigative reporting site, Bird, published a report claiming that Ignatova was murdered on the orders of a Bulgarian drug lord, Christophoros Amantidis also known as Taki. According to the report, Ignatova was murdered aboard a yacht in the Ionian Sea, and her body was dismembered and cast overboard. The alleged motive for the murder was to conceal the drug lord's involvement in the OneCoin scam. Christo Christov, a Bulgarian, was identified as the alleged murderer and is serving time in a Dutch prison for drug trafficking. Amantidis is currently living in Dubai, evading Bulgarian authorities. However, in a 2022 interview, FBI Special Agent Paul Roberts stated that the agency's investigation into Ignatova was operating under the assumption that she is still alive and that they had no information to suggest otherwise. In conclusion, Ruzha Plamenova Ignatova is a convicted fraudster and the founder of a fraudulent cryptocurrency scheme known as OneCoin. She has been on the run from international law enforcement agencies since 2017 and has been charged with wire fraud, securities fraud, and money laundering by U.S. authorities. Ignatova's involvement in fraudulent schemes date back to 2012, when she was convicted of fraud in Germany. In June 2022, she was added to the FBI 10 Most Wanted list, 
and a reward of up to $100,000 was offered for the information leading to her arrest. While there have been reports of her murder, the FBI is operating under the assumption that she is still alive. This is Alexis Flores, a Honduran criminal who is wanted for the heinous crimes of murder and child rape in the United States. Flores is accused of kidnapping, raping, and murdering 5-year-old Ariana de Jesus in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 2000. Her body was found in the basement of an empty apartment building where Flores was believed to have stayed. Flores is the 487th fugitive to be placed on the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list. The incident occurred in the summer of 2000, when a homeless man known as Carlos was given shelter, clothing, and work as a handyman by a hunting park resident named Jorge Contreras. Ariana de Jesus had been reported missing for five days when her body was discovered in the basement of the apartment building. She had been sexually assaulted, strangled, and wrapped in a trash bag. A t-shirt bearing a distinct political logo was found near Ariana's body with her blood on it. When police questioned Contreras about the shirt, he recognized it as one of the articles of clothing that he had lent to Carlos who had not been seen in the area since the girl was reported missing. Carlos then became wanted for questioning, and a sketch of him was profiled on America's Most Wanted. Flores was arrested for shoplifting in Arizona in 2002. Two years later, police came to Flores' residence in response to a noise complaint. After giving fraudulent identity documents to police, Flores was arrested for possession of a forgery device, a felony in Arizona. When he was arrested, Flores had a welcoming demeanor, was friendly, and cooperated with the police during questioning. Upon entering his apartment for further investigation, officers noticed pornography spread out across the floors. Flores told immigration officials that he had been living in Schaumburg, Illinois prior to living in Phoenix. He was incarcerated for 60 days and deported to Honduras after his release in June 2005. In 2006, Flores' DNA sample taken in Arizona was added to the combined DNA index system. In March 2007, his DNA sample positively matched DNA found at the crime scene in Philadelphia. It had been determined that Carlos and Flores are the same person. On March 22, 2007, a local arrest warrant was issued in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and Flores was charged with murder and various other felonies. On the same date, a federal arrest warrant for Flores was issued in the Eastern District of Pennsylvania, and he was charged with an unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. Flores was added to the FBI's Top 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list on June 2, 2007, replacing Shante Henderson on the list. There is a reward of up to $100,000 for information leading directly to Flores' capture offered by the FBI. He's also the subject of an Interpol Red Notice. Flores is fluent in both Spanish and English and is believed to be either in his native Honduras or to have returned to the United States. Alexis Flores is a dangerous fugitive who is wanted for kidnapping, rape, and murder of a five-year-old girl in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 2000. He's the subject of a nationwide manhunt, and there is a substantial reward for information leading to his capture. Anyone with information regarding Flores' whereabouts should contact the FBI immediately. This is Arnaldo Jimenez, an American fugitive who was added to the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list on May 8, 2019. He is wanted for the murder of his wife, Estrella Carrera, which occurred on May 12, 2012, the day after their wedding. Carrera was found dead in a bathtub at her apartment in Burbank, Illinois. She had been stabbed multiple times and was still wearing her wedding dress. According to the FBI, Jimenez and Carrera got into a heated argument on the way home from their wedding in Jimenez's black 2006 four-door Maserati. During the argument, Jimenez fatally stabbed Carrera multiple times before dragging her body into her apartment and leaving her in the bathtub. Carrera's family reported her missing when she failed to pick up her children on May 12, and her body was discovered in her apartment on May 13. Jimenez had disappeared, and his car was missing as well. Three days later, on May 15, Jimenez was charged with first-degree murder, and a state warrant was issued for his arrest. A federal warrant for unlawful flight to avoid prosecution followed on May 17. Investigators began tracking Jimenez's movements and found that he had used his cell phone in various locations, including Chicago, Southern Illinois, Memphis, Tennessee, and Houston. Houston, Texas. On May 13, he made calls from Hidalgo, Mexico. In September 2012, police arrested Jimenez's brother, Humberto, on drug charges. During the search of his property, they found Arnaldo's black Maserati in the garage with blood inside. The police concluded that Jimenez had killed Carrera in his car and then dragged her body into her apartment. They believe that Humberto drove Arnaldo to Mexico in his car and left him there. The FBI believes that Jimenez is still in Mexico, specifically in the area of Santiago Papasquiaro in Durango or in Reynosa, Tamaulipas. He was a 522nd fugitive to be placed on the FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitive list, and the FBI is offering a reward of up to $100,000 for information leading to his capture.